Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another green marble crochet tutorial. As you can probably hear in the background it's raining and it has been raining quite heavily for about three days straight here in the south of Spain but that's okay because it is the perfect time to stay inside and do some crochet. So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this very quick, very simple single crochet only beanie um, and just like to quickly mention that this is my pattern that I've come up with but I have used inspiration from elsewhere and I will put a link to that video in the description below so you can go and check that out if you would like it's a pretty good tutorial for a pretty good hat um, but yeah today I'm going to show you how to make my own so, to start with, um, I will be using this lovely soft dark blue, and that is Caritia Sport, which is, let's have a look, okay, so that is 100% acrylic and it's 100 grams at 133 meters and it says here on the label that the suggested hook size is a 5 but I won't be using that I will be using a 10 millimeter so this one just here and scissors and Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so let's make a slip knot. Just like that, and adjust the knot to the hook. And we are going to chain four. So one. Two, three, and four. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form our chain circle, just like that. Okay, and there it is. So to begin row or round one, to begin round one, we're going to chain up one, and I'm going to count that chain one as our first stitch. So There'll be 12 stitches, so we'll put 11 single crochets into the center of that chain circle. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, and if they start getting a bit tight on there, just shove them a little to the side to make more room. So nine and ten, and one more. Eleven. Okay. So, to finish up with round one, we're going to put a slip stitch into the top of that chain one. So, um, focusing, so that will be that stitch just there. One, and 
and slip stitch into that stitch. So there we go. Now we have completed round one. There should be 12 stitches, including the stitch that we slipped into, so let's count that together. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now we're going to begin the increase rounds. And for round two, we're going to chain up one. And we're going to be putting two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern until the end of the round. So let's do the first, the first one. So single crochet twice into the first stitch. So one, two, followed by one single crochet into the next stitch along. And continue with that pattern till the end of the round and we'll meet up again and there should be 18 stitches in total. Okay, so here we are at the end of round two. And to finish the round we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain one. So that's that stitch just there. So insert hook and slip stitch. Okay, so we should have 18 stitches around and we won't count them together, but you know, there should be 18. So we'll just get straight into round three. And to begin round three, we chain up one. And at the beginning of all the increase rounds, we're always going to put two single crochets into the first stitch. So for round three, it's going to be two single crochets followed by a single crochet into the next two stitches. So let's do that once and then I'll let you complete that pattern till the end of the round. So two single crochets into the first stitch, one and two, then one stitch in the next stitch, and one stitch in the next stitch. So the pattern is two, one, one. And then follow that pattern around till the end of the round and we'll meet back up again. Okay, so here we are at the end of round three. And to finish, as always, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain one. So that stitch just there. Let's slip stitch into that stitch. And just like that. Okay, so you should have 24 stitches around. We won't count them together. We'll just move straight on to round four. Okay, so. To begin round four, we chain up one, and it's two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next three stitches. So you can probably see how the pattern is progressing and how you should continue it to increase the size. So let's do the first bit together, and then I'll leave you to carry on till the end of the round. So two single crochets into the first stitch, that is one and two, followed by one, two, and three. So the pattern goes two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and so on around till the end of the round. Okay. So let's finish that up and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so here we are at the end of round four. And to finish up, let's slip stitch into the top of that chain one. To finish up the round. Okay, so. At the end of round four, you should have in total 30 stitches. 
So we won't count that together. We will go straight into round five, which is chaining up one. And following the pattern, we will be putting two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next four stitches. So let's do that together. And it is one and two into the same stitch, followed by one, and just like some more yarn. Okay, so now we've done one and two and three and four. So, following that pattern, which is two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, all the way to the end of the round, and we'll meet again at the end. Okay, so here we are at the end of round five, and to finish, we're going to put a customary slip stitch into the top of that chain one, finish off the round. Okay, so there should be 36 stitches in total for this, for this stage. And as you can see, it's progressing nicely. Okay, so we'll get straight into round six, which is chain up one and single crochet into the first stitch followed by a single crochet into the next five stitches. So, we'll do that one together and then I'll leave you to finish up to the end of the round. So, into the first stitch it is one and two followed by one and two, three, four, and five. So let's have a look at that. That is two singles into the first stitch, followed by one, two, three, four, five. And continue along with that pattern until the end of the round, and we'll meet up again. So, here we are at the end of round six, and to finish the round, we slip stitch into that slip single crochet, uh, sorry, into the top of the chain one, just like that, okay, so, and there we have in the completed round six, so we should have 42 stitches in total. We won't count them together, we'll just get straight into round seven, which is our last increase round. So, chaining up one, and we're gonna do our two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next six stitches. Okay, so we'll do that together. One and two into the first stitch, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so let's have a look at that. That is two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six. So repeat that pattern till the end of the round and we'll meet up again. Okay, so here we are coming up to the end of round seven. 
just like that and to finish the round again we slip stitch into the top of the chain one just like that so by now you should have 48 stitches in total and that's where we're going to stop the increase um, of course you can carry on increasing in that with that progression if you want to make it a little bigger you know for a guy or whatever um, this hat's probably also going to be bigger than the pink one that I showed you just because the yarn is a lot chunkier okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to for round eight we're going to chain up one and we're just going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around till we reach the end of the round so single crochet one two just one in every stitch till we get to the end of the round and so continue on with that and we'll meet again at the end of the round and i'll show you where to go from there Okay, here we are coming to the end of round eight. So once we get to the end and we do that final stitch, now instead of slip stitching into the top of the chain one, I'm going to grab a bit more yarn as gracefully as we can, which is not very okay. So we grab a bit more yarn and instead of slip stitching we are going to just put a single crochet into the top of that chain one. So into that stitch just there. And so hook, yarn over, pull through and single crochet. And that is so that there won't be a seam when you continue on. So you just continue on with the single crochet until and you reach the desired length so whatever fits you best whatever you're most comfortable with okay so just continue on with that get to the length you want to get to I'm gonna go away and get to the length I want to get to and then I will come back and we'll go from there okay Okay, so I have reached my desired length and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slip stitch into one final stitch and pull that through like that and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim off the yarn. Trim off the yarn and just bind off just like that. Okay, now take the end of your yarn, grab your darning needle, thread the yarn through the needle and turn your work around so that you can so that the inside is facing you so whichever side you choose you could you know whichever side so i'm gonna just thread the yarn through to the back or through to the inside and just weave the end into some of the backs of the stitches so i'm just going to do the stitches here these ones just here so just weave it through a few, just like that, and maybe a few more just there, so, and there, and there, and <clears throat> what I like to do is just turn that around and then focus the camera, and I like to double back so it's a little more secure. So just skipping that one just there. Go back through a few of the stitches again. Just like that. 
Okay. Pull that through. Okay. And trim off the excess yarn. Just like that. Okay. And there we go. <coughs> oh, sorry. And there we have our finished, very simple, very easy, very quick to make single crochet only beanie. I really like this hat, it looks really good on, so now as you can hear it's still raining but it's definitely time to go out and have a drink somewhere and I will definitely be wearing this because it's cold. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you make a lovely beanie and I hope you can join me for my next video where I think I'll be making a bag um, most probably with the same yarn actually because I have another ball so yeah um, thank you for joining me uh, again I'll put the link to the video that I used for inspiration in the description below and <clears throat> Okay, thanks for joining me.